Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here from either Instagram or TikTok, you will enjoy this content on here, so please hit that follow button and make sure you turn on post notifications. Today we are doing a thrift haul and this took me so long to do because all the pieces were coming from different places Because this is my first time thrifting so here's how it's gonna go first I'm gonna show you the piece that I bought and then I'm gonna show you the outfit that I paired it with and everything will be linked in the Description below so you can find everything that I'm wearing. All right the moment you guys all been waiting for the dress This is a vintage 1970s gunny sack dress and boy am I obsessed with it It was $200 and I got it off of Depop, but you can find this dress way cheaper but I wanted this exact one and I've been looking for one for like five months and Trevor got this one for me for Christmas and here is the account that I bought it from. Now onto these groovy bell bottoms. I got them from Buffalo Exchange in North Park, San Diego and they were 15 bucks. I paired them with my Four Love and Lemons top and my Veronica Beard cardigan and the shoes are from Shop Peach. This jean blazer with red trim is giving me Share from Clueless Vibes, I'm obsessed. I got it from Buffalo Exchange as well, and it was 30 bucks. I paired this with my white go-go boots from Public Desire, my Jackie purse from Gucci, and my white turtleneck from Motel. I got this black beaded purse for eight bucks and this gingham off the shoulder dress for 15, both at Buffalo. I paired this with a thick black choker, a fuzzy bucket hat from Urban Outfitters, my platform boots from New Rock, and sunglasses from my mom's sunglass brand Cirque from the 90s. This $15 handmade dress from Buffalo has absolutely no hanger appeal but of course right when I saw it on the hanger I was like yep that is my dress and it fits me like a glove paired with black new rock boots and my grandma's vintage Kate Spade bag this flower embroidered denim shift dress was from Depop and it is 46 bucks I paired this with my black leather Helga shoes from Steve Madden and a white turtleneck from Brandy Melville the first time I wore this was to church and I absolutely love this dress here is a picture of me wearing it and also here is the Depop shop that I I bought it off of. This white embroidered button-up blouse is from Flashbacks in Carlsbad and it was 15 bucks. I wish you guys can see the embroidery from here, but it is so cute. I paired this with a corset top from Victoria's Secret. My pants are from C New York and my shoes are the Helga black leathers from Steve Madden. I legit got so lucky with this Urban Outfitters dress from Flashbacks. I got it for 20 bucks, but it retails for like 64. So exciting. Paired with a belt from Flashbacks for five bucks, public desire boots, and a turtleneck. I got this vintage 70s mini dress off of Depop for 62 bucks. This is paired with my Luxola sunglasses and my Cindy shoes from Steve Madden. And the clutch that I'm holding is my Luxola sunglass case. Here's me wearing the dress to church, so fun. And the Depop shop that I purchased it off of. This polka dot and striped blouse was from Flashbacks and is 15 bucks and it is literally so ugly. So I wanted to try to pair it with awesome stuff. So I think I did pretty good. I paired this with a leather collar from Ghani, leather pants from Motel, and my shoes are from Shop Peach. Y'all tell me how I did in the comments below with this outfit. I think it's pretty snazzy. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I purchased this vintage green crop sweater vest on Depop for 20 bucks and I had my eye on this girl's shop forever and I finally bought something from it, so, so proud of myself. I paired this with some white flowy pants from Brand New Melville and my platform boots from New Rock. Here's a picture of me in the top. Ooh, so fun, so cute. And here's the shop that I purchased the top off of. This vintage crop polo tank is also from the same shop from Depop and I got it for 36 bucks. A little expensive, but I actually really like this shirt. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, isn't my niece literally the cutest? She's like, um, your outfit needs a flower. And I'm like, Margo, you are just the cutest ever. Okay, I paired this with some flared pants from Free Will Boutique and my platform boots from New Rock. And obviously the prettiest flower from my niece, Margo. Again, here's the shop that I purchased both of these tops off of. All right, last but not least, I got this white quilted jacket for 30 bucks off of Depop. I paired this with a brown Trey Roche top and some dad jeans from Urban Outfitters and the shoes are from Public Desire. I kid you not, I just DM Trey Roche's Instagram and asked them how to pronounce their brand name. How embarrassing for me, but yeah, I love this shirt. <laughs> 
then lastly here is the depop shop that i purchased this beautiful white jacket on fun fact but really really sad fact i'm gonna poop myself i'm on a juice cleanse so i'm yeah but how'd you guys like the video i thought it was pretty good um but then again, I'm the one who made it, so I can't say that. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite item that I got thrifting was. Mine definitely has to be the jean shift dress. I really love that dress. Or, or the 70s dress. Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I love all of it, but then again, I got it, so... Again, it's a biased opinion from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It warms my heart. It warms my heart, for real. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Just remember, friends, I love you. God loves you. Until next time, that's it for today with Sterling Monet. Bye. But seriously, I'm really gonna poop my pants.